Welcome to a new series called So Good, where I talk about things that I love. And this could be covering movies, TV shows, games, whatever I can find. And I'm going to start with Raya. And this is going to be a massive spoiler, so I'm going to go through the whole movie. But thanks for tuning in. I am your nerdy host, JD. And let's start right off the bat with this. I love the look of this. I wouldn't mind a whole movie with that. I love that little flick with the hair. And then as you switch over, I love that transition. That is just so super cute. The cat. Tuk Tuk, come on, that is so cute. The weight, the drop there, the influence on the hands. And then moving forward, I love this. I don't know who animated this, but that moment. The expressions, the gestures with the hands and the fingers is so great. And then her hop. Look at how she goes, whip, dip, dip. <laughs> this cracks me up. It's just so good. Look at that. I love how she's out with the arms like this. It's such a great moment, such a great hop and run over. Next up, we have this here where I really like her thought process and just that that reaction to this. Let's play this here. She goes, what? And just that look, the scanning of her dad. I love that, I love that. Move back in her body, holding the plate and just this. How she keeps on looking and that big moment of, wait, what? And then looking over and still scanning that expression. I thought it was a really nice shot. Just very clean, really nicely done. With this one, I like that she does this here. Just because she does that throughout the whole movie as a kid and as an adult. And it's a kind of a character trait that goes throughout the whole movie. And it's kind of rare to see this where it's usually a shot where someone does something. And it's always kind of shot specific. Of course, it's still consistent throughout the whole movie. But I like that this continues on throughout the whole movie. And I just wanted to point that out because I love it. This is a really nicely post sequence here. I love the contrast between the two. I'm going to play out the whole thing here. I love how she has that lean forward, hands on the thighs. And just kind of that that change. Let's go back here. Love how she has that moment of, which was something slightly sad that she was just talking about. And that change. And look at their head accents. Up and then bump, bump. It's a little bit of a texture in the move. And how she lowers the plate. It's just really nicely done. And love that little hop there. Just that change whoop, into that. And just that really nice pose. And just all the gestures and the leans and that, I love that. With the shoulder, just a really nicely animated shot. All right, drones, I don't even know where to begin. They are so cool. And I love this when it envelopes the character, that change there. I got some of the shots I want to show about that. But this was so super cool. I love this here. Look at that. I just wanted to go, this is why I'm going to go frame by frame. What is going on here? All that stuff. And I wonder how this was done if it's... Like, you know, like just like a simple sphere animated through so you can get the timing and the general position. And then effects just takes over and does this massive, awesome job. These are so cool. Look at the beginning here. I just really wanted to highlight these. So cool. I'm going to highlight them again. Just because you can see a full transformation here all in slow motion. And there's something else that I want to show here. But I'm first, I'm going to go through this here. I love all of that. I love the look this how it starts here the lighting and the glow it still pulls them over it's really nice weight to it and then all of that love the effects in this then it gets pushed up here and then drop into that pose it's really cool this one i just wanted to add that just because water is usually fairly clear in movies it's i don't know i don't remember anything that's kind of you know, kind of dirty or cloudy. And this moment, I don't know why, but I love this. I love the look of that. Just, it's just not super clear. Camera's really cool. The water's really nicely done. Just a great sequence too. This shot is absolutely bonkers just because it's so long. And you can see here there, I'm gonna play the whole thing out. It's gonna get some copyright strike probably is because of the length of it, uninterrupted. But I love the slow push in. You get closer and closer to the face. The changes in her emotions there, how she starts to slowly break down a bit, crying. I love that wipe, how it's not a clean swipe with the hands. And especially the corners. There's something when we cry that the corners of our mouth, they go down, it gives you a specific shape. And she has that throughout. You can still feel the breathing in there. So good, let's go in there. There's so many great moments. And again, like to me, it's mostly as we get to this, like the whole buildup is really, really great. And how she stays in that shape here throughout. 
it's really it's like such a long shot so hard to do that just the complexities of how that hand comes up here the fingers like that we stop a bit and then it's a wipe like that curling of the fingers there just like when we get to the first wipe it's not like a clean arm up but you have that push on the skin you can feel that and you get that slight rotation down over and it's just nerding out on something or an emotional shot but it's just such a great shot it's just so good and it's time for Sisu's intro, and I could include every shot. It's so well done. And what I highlight here is the hello, that, I love that. To that shape, it's just really expressive shapes in, in dragon and human form. But I love this, that, and then the closing of the lips into hmm, with the move of the eyes over here. Let's play this again. Just every shot you can frame through with her, and just look at mouth corners, the blinks, just how she moves is so well done. Whoever animated this, just such a good job. For this one is when she grabs her tail. I mean, I talk about creatures in my classes. I talk about just look at the attributes of a creature and then what could you use, right? She has, she can stand and she can be on all fours. You got the long tail, you got the hair. There's so much you can do with this creature. I love that, that she is, you know, there's fear in there and she wants to hold on to something. It's like, you know, like a kid holds on to a teddy bear or like you're in the bed, you have your blankie to protect you. It's just, there's something. And I love that little squeeze too, if you go there frame by frame. Just that moment there. It's just great usage just of the anatomy of the character. And just the walk, just everything about that character. It's just so well done. And this one, it's the nose wrinkle. I know it sounds silly to point something out that small, but I love that as she goes and goes through our awesome expressions, really expressive facial expressions. This, that thing here, let's play the whole thing again. As she goes through there, like it's a great shot with head accents and just expressions, but that little thing caught my eye. I thought that's really cool to see. And it's rare to have that when you have on rigs, when you bring the eyebrows up to have those fold either through the geometry or butt map or textures, however you want to do it. It just adds a lot to the characters. And I love this. It's a tiny little thing, but I want to point it out. You know they're going to bring up props and sets, but I love, oh, there are two things. Hold on, I'm going to go to that second part later. But this here is that she has her line and she still has to do this, but she goes back and forth between looking at the character she wants to talk to and looking at what she has to do here. And the reason why I'm pointing this out, and if any students are watching this, is because you have to start practicing use of props, sets, whatever you have, because in the movie, the character is going to be surrounded by all kinds of things, including handling props and, and you know interacting with sets. And it's something good to practice, because not every character can just be in an empty background. So that was really cool. And I love that secondary action of looking back and forth and then this, <laughs> this was to crack me up. Oh, this is when I would say so good. It's such a fun move, the hops, the arms. Oh, it's so well done, I love it. And now we get to human form Sisu and I mean the highlight reel just continues. Come on, that shot is just absolutely bonkers. Again, the expressions, the appeal of their face, just everything's great, beautiful hand poses. Again, frame by frame, you can go through this and it's so awesome. But that, I love this. And I love that with the long sleeves, there's a lot of playfulness with letting the sleeves out. I feel bad for animators who post out the fingers and then you can't see them throughout a lot of the movie. But let's watch this again. I can just, I can watch this over and over and over. That move, and I love that her eyes are closed throughout that whole thing. And then this, oh, just how that hand comes up and touches the cheek here, but then doesn't rest there. It goes over into this and then goes down with a slight pull. You can see the elongation here in the face. And then holding up and how the fingers are still reacting to the cheeks there and like they're all connected. It's just absolutely bonkers. I love this. I don't know who did this. Whoever did this, thank you. This just made my day. It's such a great shot. This one is actually really great to watch without the sound. I mean, I can't put in the sound anyway for like a double strike or something, but the head accents, the rhythm and the hand gestures that and you can really you can tell what's going on and i'm also a big fan of gestures that are off screen you can see what's going on but it's not fully composed and clean to the silhouette and i love that i know that might just be me but i love when it's just something that quote unquote an actor does right and you just have it framed like that love this just the rhythm and the holds the move over there instead of with the head right there and then that again i gotta go through there and look at hand poses it's very very clean and that, look at the complexity of that. You got a really nice triangle hand pose, even through that, it's nice and clean. And then you got that change into this with the complexity here into that nice close. 
again, the head tilts, just a little rhythm of up with eyebrows, down and over, and then that, she hears the sounds of her enemy, and then that look over. Dare I say, you're gonna hear it a couple times, but so good! And this is probably my favorite shot of the movie. It's hard to pin down, there are a lot of really well animated shots and a lot of great acting shots, but this shot, especially there's so much to love a I love this here how that finger stays there the change from this to this not in terms of a technical thing of whatever i can fingers however however uh, she did this but that just the posing and the, the acting of that with the fingers and the thought how to get that little finger moving across her chin it's so great and this too is because She's wondering, oh yeah, yeah, I did find her. And it's not like she has a thought process with a lot of eye darts and she realizes, oh, but she's right there. And it's, it works so well because she is pretending. She's so condescending to the other character that's off screen. That change makes so much sense. And you got that, such an appealing gesture and the facial expressions. And then I love this, that the change without a dart, really, and it's kind of a little bit there, but without the blink and into that stare, and then, oh, that is so good. I love that stare. The look, the whining of the eyes. And look at the hop on Sisu here. Bloop, 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 how she comes over. And then <laughs> that expression there, that mouth shape. It just works so well. I gotta play this again. That whole thing with the hands, the look over. Oh, hey, look, it's right there. Oh, that is absolutely bonkers. I have to say, so good. I'm gonna say this a lot, but that's, I gotta say, it's probably my favorite shot. It's just so well done. Sisu had really great facial shapes in dragon form, but even this in human form. So great. Whoever modeled those shapes and how they dialed in, they're so great. She asks you what runes and cats have in common, because they have no soul. Talks about the water, but I want to go through that and highlight. I mean, the whole animation is great. The little subtleties on the cameras, there's a lot to really, really like. The sim and the hair and the cloth, but if I stop on the facial shapes, that, like that to me, I see this and I just feel how you cranked up the shapes. I just want to, oh, I just want to get that rig and do the same thing. Look at that expression. And then the change in thought moving over. <laughs> Look at that face. It's so, so good. Look at that. That little explosion of soul. The squash and stretch in the face into that. <laughs> it's like, looked at, uh huh? And then she goes back into hmm, just binding the lip there. Great hand poses. <laughs> that goes back almost what we have. I and mean, she said hello as a dragon. It's very consistent in, in the, the dialing of the shapes here and how she looks across both forms. Yeah, it's great. And this time it's not about animation, even though again, it's great. It's, it's the water, like that shot. The lighting and rendering, the look of this, just the color of it, I don't know. I'm just fascinated by Sims. Just the overall lighting, both of these shots. Again, I can watch this over and over and over. There's something about mixing cartooniness designs in more photo real environments that I always think about, ah, that's just a clash. I don't like it. And then I see it go, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I could watch this forever. And I know you don't want to watch this forever, but love the Sim, love the look. Also, just the camera work, the little slight wobble, as if the camera person is on the boat and with the waves, they create a bit of a wobble in Z. You can see that if you look at the horizon line, it's not in type of shakes, it's mostly in uh, Y and uh, X for your rotations there. You want to be careful about Z, you changing the horizon line. But depending on what, where you are and what surface you are when you operate the camera, it all makes sense. And, it's subtle there, but I love it. It really, really flows really well. And it's really well done with the camera move there. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. I love it. There's a lot to love about Cat and Boone, but I wanted to highlight that one turn and play out the whole thing just because, again, it's really well done. The rhythm, all, all of that, the hair sim and, and just everything. You can watch at these frames. I mean, if you just pause on this, the pose, the expression, the offset, all of that, it's just, you can really go frame by frame and study everything and it's so well done. But whoever did this, that turn, it cracked me up. So whoever did that, thank you. That just <laughs> made that moment. It's such a great moment there. Back to water, and now we have Sisu swimming in it. And I had to bring this up for just so many reasons. Wet fur, 
the look of this, the render of that water, the interaction. That, sorry, I got a frame if I wanted to play it in full, but look at that. It's so fast because it immediately threw a blur, but. The sequence is where she is swimming, when she's underwater. The first time they take off and she flies, it's just so good. And even that, the lighting and the look of the hair, the flow of it, you can feel the weight of the hair. I mean, come on. That, going to the other shot here, just fascinates me. I can, again, watch this over and over, but I will not, because I want to <laughs> stop so you don't have to watch this with me forever. I just want to bring it up because it's great. This one I want to bring up, not just because the whole thing is really well animated, just the crossing over those arms, and I'm just played out in full. But there's something that sees <laughs> right there. There's something that I tell my students that if you're going to go for a shot for your reel, you got to make sure that, A, you're going to you know, showcase body mechanics and everything is really well done, but you want to have a moment in your shot for your reel that kind of stands out, like, oh, that was cool. Like For me, I like this. The crossing over is really, really fun. But the highlight to me is this, how she goes up, the rhythm, the rhythm of her fingers, her hands, her arms with the head, going down into that. And again, you can really push the facial shapes into that moment. I mean, there's more, even when she goes over here and the <laughs> look at that, the pushing of the shapes. Oh, this is such an extreme, I love it. And just the overall pose, you got again, the sleeve, the same, how that is being used, just the, how they come together for kind of the whispering. But that moment here, I mean, let's go back here, it's here. That going up, that to me is the moment. I mean, that shot is full of great moments, but whoever did this, like, how do you, how do you come up with that? I want to see all those acting takes and how the animator ended up with that moment. So, so good, I have to say it. And here's another one with just a great moment. For me, it's the sleeves. <laughs> it's a great flow there. It's very naturalistic here. Now she stops and looks over. But the moment for me is this. Because, you know, the animator knows, well, I, the, the sleeves are going to be droopy and hang over. I might as well do a move here. How it makes that turn around. Let's play this again. Love that. I mean, love the hair. And then into, hey, into that. It also adds to her playfulness. She's very optimistic all the time. It's a little thing. And it's not long either. It's not a long shot. But it has that thing of, oh, that was cool. I love that moment right there all right the monkeys come on we have to talk about the monkeys and that intro <laughs> that role uh, i know how you go over there like just the contrast with the faces how they're all different just want to bring that in here but love this the playfulness of this guy this guy is eating and cleaning <laughs> totally asleep there and just the complexities too if, if you go frame by frame i mean as an animator you're gonna have to go through there you got your take, the scramble, and it's not just all in one axis. It's how they jump around. It's great. But I want to go through this frame by frame because it just cracked me up. Oh, the tiny little feetsies too. Look at that. So it goes to the side. I don't even know what they did here. It goes to the side on the stomach. Okay. Scramble over. <laughs> they go over the face into a roll. <laughs> into a roll down. Uh Come on, how can you not say so good? Such a great intro for those characters. Whoever animated this, bravo. I love it. I love it. And you know that if I bring up the monkeys, you gotta bring up the baby. And there's a lot to love about whenever they're on screen. But come on, that walk, look at this. <laughs> Cracks me up every time. It's so good. Those arms out, that waddle. It's still fast and agile. It has to go places and it's faster than the Troopy for the baby. But it still has that baby walk. Again, I don't know who animated this, but holy moly, did it crack me up. That whole sequence, if you watch that movie, just look at that whole chase sequence. There's so much to go through. I'm only sh showing up, showing the shot here just because I love that walk. But you gotta watch that whole sequence just in terms of action and staging and camera. It's just so well done. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna bring up one more thing, and it's it's not just the bunsies that was funny. Why I'm showing you this here is when I watched it. I didn't notice this when I was watching the movie, but when I recorded this, I noticed this that it's actually starting to unrobe there. I never caught that, and that's that's why I bring this up here. I love <laughs> it starts there. That face. It starts already there, and then she goes, "Whoa, diapers." Oh, look at that, just on that. 
I love this. Look at that. I love all of this. And then, of course, you got the funniness here of bring this back here. Look at that. Love that crossover. Who holds the diaper? I don't even know. Then you got that landing into this. <laughs> I don't like the. That, that oh you got you got a squeezing of the buns too they're wide squeeze here and then out again that's why you got to go frame by frame look at that you got the drag in the fingers sorry now I'm going back into frame by framing here but so well done this is not a sequence that I just want to play out and then we're gonna go frame by frame because there's so much to look at you watch this and you go wow there's so much in there the rhythm is great <laughs> I'll pose at the end. But then the sequence is over. It's like, all right, all right, hold on, hold on. I got to go in there frame by frame. And yes, this is going to be a frame by frame. Oh, this is basically all about bouncing balls, right? So your, your basic principles are back. And I love the holds. Whenever you have a bit more exaggerated timing, you get the squash and stretch, but the hold and the apex in both of these guys, the small one and this guy. Clean silhouette there. Look at that. So great. But there's so much going on here. This is where I want to go in there. What? <laughs> Again, like as an animator, I look at this like, okay, you know, imagine you got kind of a default pose, however they have it there, however they are. And then you go into, all right, well, let me push this character and see what I can do with it. And I see stuff like this and it just, just makes me laugh. Like, oh, I just want to go in there, open that rig and do the same thing here. Look, holy mackerel. See, this is the stuff. This is why I'm framing through this. <laughs> That's a different noise. That's the lip. Wow. Come on. <laughs> this is so good. That is the epitome of so good. Wow. The bounciness, the shapes. Look at this little guy here. <laughs> Getting... Ah, oh, then he cuts out. And then you can see it comes back in here. Frame by frame here. Calm. On. That's just at this point. Every frame is sculpted. Computer in between? Nope. Like, that's how he waits here, just to grab that tail. Even just this here, just an appealing mouth shape. Again, whoever dialed in and modeled those shapes and then how you can dial that in is so great. Got a drag here and slap on the hand. <laughs> Love that too, just the scrambling and then getting into that line, into that. Just the squishiness on all of them. You can see that all the way down to the, to the lips here. You got a change in the fingers. That's what I'm here for. Awesomeness frame by frame. And then just that pose and that shape. Yeah, it's a banana shot. <laughs> it's literally a banana shot. All right, this is gonna be super weird bringing this up here and you go like, what? But I wanna highlight this. I know this is super weird, but during the summer, during the whole lockdown, with nothing else to do here, I started growing up my hair. Clearly, it wasn't that long, but I had this as well. Cut short here, and just a bit long. I don't know how long my hair was. I, was, I mean, it looked silly. You don't want to know what I looked like. But in my horrible job of cutting hair, this was like that. It had just long little moments, or moments, little piece of hair out there. So this is the only reason why I bring this up. I go, oh, wait, that little here, the little longer pieces there. That reminds me what I did, and that's the only reason why I'm bringing this up. Uh, and that's it. You can thumb me down here for that one, but I love it. Back to the monkeys, just because of two little things here. Again, this is something where there's a great moment. Like, the whole shot is well animated, but there's always a moment that stands out, and I love this guy, how he disappears here. And also this one. If you look at that guy, got that <laughs> awesome path into this. But it's not just going up, and I love this asymmetry too here. It's not flat. As it goes down, little eyes. It's not just done here. Looks around, turns into that, and then that's it. So watch this here, this whole thing. It's a cute little extra detail. This contrast and timing, what's going on. And then just generally that. I love how it bounces. It's just the weight and squishiness of it. And then the timing of getting in there. <laughs> that last frame going out. So watch just that one. Looks around, goes, ooh. And then with that little extra little hat thing coming up here. They're great. They're so funny. This moment I wanted to include because of posing. So any students watching here, let's talk about contrast and posing, especially when you have multiple characters. And I love that at this point, 
she noticed that, well, you really can't trust people. She has a bit of a shock that she trusted that person and then something went wrong. Whereas she gets confirmation of, yeah, I told you, you can't trust people, the world, that's how the world is. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because it's the confidence, right? The openness of the pose, because she's very comfortable. It's, it's a reassurance of, yeah, you see, this is what I've been saying all the time. And, and even if she goes back, you know, she's playing hide and seek with the other characters. But throughout that, she has that pose versus she has the knees up, arms around, closed up because there's a betrayal. It just feels less comfortable. Again, this is me just reading into those poses. Who knows what the anime was thinking, but that's how I am interpreting the scene. And that's how what I'm going to tell my students. Think about that. What is their state of mind? And why would you have them open like this and close like that? What is the reason besides just contrast? Did something happen before? Is something informing the characters uh, or, the, or the choice of um, that pose for the characters? It's really neat. Back to facial shapes. When this character showed up, so, okay, okay, I got to look at this frame by frame. <laughs> That it's that moment. I love this. That change with the tongue. Mm, yeah, look at this. Yeah, it's just I can look at this character again all day. Not that I'm gonna have you suffer through that, through my preferences there. But gotta go and look at this, and look at the pushing of the shapes. That's where a lot of the rigs falter to get a really nice shape like that. But the squishiness of the face and the expressiveness and then going into that. Yeah, it's, it's a shot I wanted to show you because I love it. And at the same time, there's a really nice subtleties here. She's asking for help. That's just so well done. A, I love with her as she goes down here and just has that little move over. It's tiny, it's subtle, right? She goes down with a slight move over here. Again, this might be tiny for you, but it's those little texture changes in your posing and timing just love it and then just him the weight of him just that look dad just how he drops down has that <laughs> i don't know if you can see down the, in the uh capturing screen capture it it captures all the frames there also seeing the previous shot how big he was with his eyes and the and the mouth shapes and everything and then seeing him like this it just it works so well oh, that you get a tiny thing in the eyebrows here it's so tiny, it's so subtle, and this is why I love it. How you can have a character that's, that was so pushed, and now you have that inhale, massive inhale, and then that, that little nod, and then bam, that going down. Again, it's, just, it's not huge in terms of dialing crazy shapes, but these shots like that, they're just, just as impressive. Oh, so good. This is really cool because it combines, in a way, both the things that we talked about before, that I talked about, not we here, <laughs> this is me talking to myself. But it's the big moment rising and then the growl and then that. Just love it. Love that moment, how she's just in awe. She sees a dragon for the first time. Spoilers! All of this, I love this. I love going from all of that into getting up, the camera move, the focus on it. This, just the, the physicality of the breathing but how she's just locked, locked on Sisu's face. And then that, of course, I love all the, you know, the influence of the growl and the hair and everything, little detail stuff, technical details. But that little flare in her eyes right there. And then that, that change. You can see the change in the pupils. Whoop. And the slowing down. Even in the camera, everything kind of slows down for that moment. Yeah, I don't know who animated this, but so, so good. I love when you have a big change like this. And just the thought, and you just look into their faces. Oh, so well done. This one I want to bring up, besides the whole fly sequence being really, really cool. I love this. Just the feel, hey, the idea of this, with the raindrops being able to control this and then having that weight on there and then use that to be able to travel through space. It's not just flying around but it's hopping and using the raindrops. I thought that was really clever. Just that whole sequence, again, I can't play the whole thing. It's a longer sequence, but watch it. Watch the whole taking flight sequence. I got another shot coming up though, but really, really cool. That's the one right there. Besides the animation being really neat, just the fluidity, the path and how she gets up there. But for me, it was that moment here, the closing of eyes and the camera. Again, I'm not sure if you can notice this given the 
screen capture and that kind of degrades the quality, you know, maybe skipping some frames, but A, the face, I love how it's just the, the blissfulness of, oh, she just enjoys it so much. I thought that was a great moment going through the clouds and again, the animation with the nice lines and curves. But let's see if I can play this again. You can see this, the slight camera shake, a little vibration there, right there. I don't know if you can see this, but it was a neat little touch. The camera work through all this was really, really cool. But that was a really great moment. Again, the lighting and rendering is great. I mean, that whole thing's just great. This is what this series is about, because it's called So Good. And I had to bring this up. This is a short thing, but I love that. And Ken Bowen's idea of how they're going to infiltrate the whole thing is this, this <laughs> dragon design, muscle arms. Oh, it cracked me up. And then I love this here, too. Just that. It's such a kid thing to just completely exaggerate and act this out. And look at those faces. They love it. And then that little clap there. It's a great, great transition. It's great animation. This I wanted to include just because of the mirroring of the poses. I don't know what the anime was thinking. And this is probably me interpreting something that was, I don't know if it was intended or not. But there's something about, and you should pay attention to that for yourself. When you have multiple people and one character, one character, you know, whatever, in your real life could be whatever, circle of friends or family, whatever, and they're in a specific pose, there comes a point where you will adopt the same pose because you agree with that person. This is a known thing, is the mirroring of the poses. And that's what made me think here, where, but throughout the sequence, you can see her in this. And then he gets into this. Also love how he gets into this. But the mirroring of the poses there, and you can see, you know, the baby's going to, you know, monkey and mimic the whole thing. But at the end, you still end up with three characters who agree with each other in the same pose. I don't know. That's why I want to bring it up. I don't know if that's the intention of the animator, but that I don't know, I like this. I like that. I, I'm going to stick with this interpretation of those choices there. And I had to include this one just because of the intensity, the cool transition of her throughout these three shots. That you could really feel the the tension in the chest and the breathing. Just that how she ramps up into this, especially at the end, with that look there. And it's I love that too, just because throughout, you know, she's she has her doubts, but she's fairly optimistic. You know, there's a specific tone to the character. And this is the big shift, the big shift into alright, well, this is now something where it just drove me over the edge. And is really well animated. You can feel that tension and that shift in their emotions. It's really cool. There's some really good camera work throughout the whole movie, but for some reason, this shot just stood out to me. I just love, A, I love the energy of the chaos and they're going this way while she goes this way, nice and center with the great silhouette. But there's something about that handheld. It's just nice and subtle. A bit of a camera shake as stuff happens off screen, but really nicely done, nice and subtle. Love the little, little wobble in there. That's really neat. This one is another one where I thought the camera's really, really neat. Nicely done in terms of just the action and how we focus around other characters. It has just enough handheld to make it like we're part of the, like a running group of people. Then how it comes down and lowers itself so we can look up at the characters. Some nice staging there. It's really neat. Again, it's, it's obviously the animation is great, but I'm always interested in camera work, how things flow and for staging. It's really neat here. This shot is short, but I want to bring it up because I love the energy and I wanted to go through that frame by frame. Like, ah, yeah. that, I just love the arms down, the intensity. I also love how it's partly covered here. I don't know why, I just love that. And even when she goes up with her arm, you don't really see that. It's all just in her eyes. Just the intensity and all of that, but just that move, the move in her arms, how she leans forward and then that recovery to bring up the sword really really cool short but very sweet as i said before i'm a big fan of thought process and just characters looking at things and processing information kind of making choices based on all that and that whole sequence there i love everything about this the looks style of reach and then how she gets back into that again because of the transformation and just the effects of it are really really cool but that i love the there's so much about it the colors like the, the blurriness, like with the lens, the depth of field of it, the slight handheld, like there's like energy that you still have in the camera, like the, the effect here, what's going on around her, but also just her look. The darts looking down, that quick little beep beep right there. Just love that. Breathing. 
Again, this is simple here, technically, right? But look at all the different moments and twitches in the fingers, the contact. Even just that. Love that shot and just this. Amongst all the craziness, how just Raya has that soft look up there. This is what I'm going to do with that. And then, no, slow motion. And this here, I'm going to go frame by frame here. Love all of this. Love how it obscures her just for a moment there. You got the glowy light into into that. Almost like the dragon there. Really, really cool. Yeah, it's a great end sequence. And I'm going to end it not with animation, but actually with original score by James Newton Howard. I thought the score was really, really cool. Something else that I, that I really, really liked. It was really, really cool. Brought the whole thing together. It's just a really nice score overall. And that is that. So again, a series that's not quite lecture, not quite a reaction, whatever people are doing nowadays. This is just me. I picked out those shots. Again, that doesn't mean that the rest is not good. It's just like the animation is just really well done. But I wanted to pick out certain highlights that I really, really liked. But look at the sequence when Sisu is swimming for the first time or the whole sequence when she is you know, running and flying uh, more at the end when they all come in. I mean, there's so much you can point out. The whole monkey sequence is great. Just make sure if you can watch the movie. It, there's so much animation that's awesome. So great material. I'm also doing this for my students as I tell them. Pick out something you really like and then study that. Take out certain elements, just a shot or a moment. Put that into your reference library and study that. So maybe that is helpful for them or anybody watching this as a, like a little highlight selection for that movie. I want to do that. Again, this might just be for me because I like this as well. I do this for other movies where I learn from them. So this goes into my reference library. And I'm going to continue with other movies. Um, this was originally intended to be for um, Spider-Verse a long time ago. I never got to it. So I'm going to go back and do, these, uh, do this with all the movies and TV shows and things that I like and create a new playlist with just highlights that hopefully are helpful to you, maybe inspiring to you. And that is that. Thank you for watching. I don't know how long this is yet. This is the first time I got 40 clips. So if this is long, then thank you for watching this until the very end. And hopefully I'll have you have your eyes for my next upload.